Hey, hey, I'm Uncle Steph. Welcome to the video. All right, somebody asked me about getting into full stack development, that's web development, and he's a trades person. So I'll just read the email and then I'll proceed to answer the question. I figured a lot of people might find this interesting. Hey, Stefan, I recently come across your content on YouTube while searching the avenues to get into full stack programming. I've had talks with a couple of boot camps prior to finding your resources and I felt, well, he starts trashing them. So I won't, we won't trash them. I'm totally new to the world of web development and coding for that matter. On the live, I guess he's referring to my live show. On the live, I mentioned that the ability to turn my PC and checking my email is about the extent of my computer knowledge. In your professional opinion, do you think someone could make this career chef and enter web development workforce, or enter the web development workforce within a year? My last career was as an elevator and escalator technician mechanic. I humbly ask this because I'm very interested in your program. And I get the impression that you're a straight up character. Well, I appreciate that. Mr. M, I will not reveal his name, just, just in case he doesn't want his name out there. I don't know. Anyhow, so uh, this individual, so he's a technician, and this will, he's an elevator technician, but this will apply, what I'm talking about here, will apply to any profession, really. Any trade that you're thinking of moving from to web development. One of the things I talk about, especially for older people who are getting into uh, web development, is that your background can be leveraged in the coding space. So for example, this dude here who is an escalator te technician and mechanic, that might give him a bunch of um, leads, a bunch of contacts where he could parlay his skills as a web developer, as a freelancer, get into freelance and start building websites and supporting these types of businesses because he'll be able to come to to meetings with these companies and say, hey, I understand your business. I'm a technician. And so I'll be able to build better sites, better systems for you. Who knows? Maybe once he learns how to code, he'll be able to come up with some business ideas, maybe for websites or web apps that uh, escalator technicians and mechanics might find interesting. I don't know. So short answer is yes. Long answer, your prior technical skills could come in handy in the web space. Another thing I want to point out is that this guy's writing is very good. So uh, being a good communicator is a huge part about being successful in development. Anyway, that's it. I hope that helps uh, if you're listening, Mr. M. And uh, he continues well, at the end. He says, uh, this being said, do you think that you and your course could help me achieve my goal of shifting careers into web dev and working my ass off to catch up on my FU money status. Yeah, I just talked about that yesterday in my live stream, how to do that. I've taught many people, so it works out. Anyway, that's it. I hope you find this useful. If you're interested in my mentoring program, check the links below. If you're interested in training your lizard brain, check the links below. If you just want to do a simple web stack course from me, Check the links below. Cheers.